Miami Dolphins rumors here today. Josh Rosen trade. And, well, we've kind of talked about this one before. Bleach Report listed each player that could be moved on from. They list third-string quarterback Josh Rosen. And when you really think about the team that could go out and get him, it's going to be the coach, it's going to be the organization that says, wait a minute, he was a first-round pick, he mm -hmm. has the talent, because I would make the argument he, he actually does have the talent. It's been bad systems. However, <laughs> I think he's got a major attitude problem, and that's where I think he's really struggled. I think here's the, the problem for Rosen and a trade for Miami. It's twofold. One from other NFL teams' perspectives, one from the Dolphins' perspective. So we'll start with the Dolphins' side of it. You actually probably won a third quarterback this year. Like, I think in, in this, year's, this year more than other ones, you want to have some depth just in case someone gets sick. Yeah. So even if it's stashing Rosen somewhere away from the team going the quarantine style like, like uh, Brian Flores had mentioned before, I think it makes sense for Miami to keep that third quarterback. And Rosen's better than anyone else out there on the open market. So internally, the value of Rosen as that emergency quarterback might be higher than, frankly, the late round pick you'd be lucky to get. Here's the problem for other NFL teams, right? You bring in Josh Rosen right now. By the time he's actually up to speed and able to go, season's over. Like, you're, you're not going to be able to get – because you have to invest in other players right now. So you're not investing very much from a time perspective. And even if you keep him, now you're facing next year. You're in the offseason. You still don't really know what you have in Josh Rosen. And he's got one year left on his deal. So from, a, from an uh, opposing team value perspective, whatever team trades for him yeah. is not going to be investing in him like he was a first-round pick. They're investing in him like he is a late-round flyer that they added, where if it works out, cool. If it, if it doesn't, well, we didn't, we didn't invest anything. So Rosen's in a really bad spot where his trade value is low, which means no one's going to truly invest in him in, uh, as a franchise option. Six, Which means he's pick? not going to get chances. Like I, I think you're looking in terms of his trade value, sixth six, six or seventh at best. I don't think you're going to see teams invest heavily in Josh Rosen. So because of that, I think it actually might make more sense for right now for Miami to keep him because what does a seventh-round pick do for you versus a, a third quarterback who knows your offense already? So I'm seeing a seven, I'm seeing some sixes rolling in here. What is Josh Rosen's overall trade value? Player face masks available at the link that you see below, chatsports.com slash player mask. Whoever your favorite NFL player is, guess what? We got a mask for him. We have Russell Wilson, Cam Newton. Oh, yeah, and then this guy, the MVP, Lamar Jackson. Multiple, multiple teams, multiple, multiple players, all available at the link that you see below. Shout out to our YouTube team right now, throwing it in the comments section. It's also in the description. Tom, who's your favorite player? Because guess what? I actually dig the two one. I, 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 color. I, I'm a big fan of style and color and all that. The, the actual the, the, the Aqua, too. it works, man. It works really well for a mask, and it's better than wearing like just a plain, uh, you know, gray or, or navy blue. I like the two one quite a bit there. That link's available: chatsports.com/slash player mask.